Ross, Lincoln Park Zoo, Megan Ross. <laughs> Hi, Megan. Hi, Hi, Megan. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. We got to ask you, what does it feel like to be the first woman to run the Lincoln Park Zoo in 150 years? It feels pretty amazing. I started as a scientist. And so I didn't really see this as my career path, but I'm very excited to continue the legacy of Kevin Bell and Lester Fisher and putting science first and continuing that legacy into the future. Yeah, how does a scientist make that transition? How did that happen? Well, I was an animal behavior researcher and my area of focus has really been animal welfare, better understanding what the animal's needs are and how we can address that. And so I started at Lincoln Park Zoo about 20 years ago as the bird curator and I've had lots of different positions in the process and wow. now here I am. So what's going to be different now that the Lincoln Park Zoo is run by a woman? <laughs> Well, I think it's going to be a lot of the same uh, things that we've been doing for the last 150 years. We've been continuing to improve every single year, and we're really trying to better understand what the animals in our care needs and what we can do to provide what, them with the best care possible and expand our science and research that we do, as well as working with different communities here in Chicagoland. Yeah, so many people, that you got to have a, just a passion for animals, right? I mean, you have 300 employees. Right. What is like the passion level like for, for people that are part of the zoo? I think that's the amazing thing about working at a not-for-profit institution is that we're a big family and we all care about the mission. We care about these animals and we care about the animals that we have here at the zoo and we care about animals in the wild. And we're always trying to make sure that we can connect people to nature and so it's really exciting to be a part of that and I think you feel it when you're working there at the zoo. I know this is a tough question because this is like asking who's your favorite kid, mm -hmm. but which animal <laughs> is your favorite animal? I do have a very special place in my heart for Chilean flamingos. I think flamingos are amazing. They do everything as a group, and I love that. I'm a team builder. I love working in a team, and I think flamingos really are the quintessential team animal. Do you yeah. like that they can stand on one leg, too? That's got to be pretty amazing, right? <laughs> I mean, like, they're doing a lot all on one leg. That's impressive. It is. I envy their balance. What I don't have quite as much. I can do it. Watch this. <laughs> You do this, the rest of the show on one leg, and let me see how much you laugh. You will be impressive. You, you must get quite attached. Do you name the animals? Does every, does every animal have a name? Many of the animals at the zoo mm -hmm. do have names, indeed, yes. Can mm -hmm. you tell them apart? Uh, some of them I can tell apart. The keepers can tell almost all of them apart because right. they, they work with them every day, but right. I can tell many of them apart. And there's like a $30 million operating budget. You're trying to raise money. Mm -hmm. what, what, is, what do the funds go to? Well, you know, we get our operating budget because we're privately managed right. through donors and, our, and um, people who are coming to the zoo. And so we use those funds to really promote our conservation science work, both at the zoo and in the field. Also, our top-notch uh, world-class animal care. We have learning programs that take place at the zoo. We also have community engagement efforts and then running the zoo as, a, as, a, yeah. as an institution. Mm -hmm. What are some of the exciting exhibits that you guys have right now? Well, we just opened the Cyril Visitor Center and we're really excited about having a new place to welcome visitors to the zoo. And we're in the process of undergoing a renovation, hopefully in the next few years of our Kovler Lion House. And I'm very excited about having a historically landmark building, having a state of the art lion exhibit right next to it. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. right. And it's one of the only free zoos in the country, isn't that correct? It is, that's true. We're one of the last remaining free zoos and we're privately managed, which I think many people don't understand. So it's really a unique opportunity that we are able to provide here in Chicago. Absolutely. Right. Well, yeah. Megan, thank you so much for coming on and congratulations for being a lady boss. Thank you.